using high-tech equipment, Antarctic winter scientists uncover a strange discovery. A massive breach has formed in the neighboring ice sheet, a gulf several hundred kilometers across that can only be seen from orbit. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about the discovery that has left experts with some significant issues, so make sure to watch till the end. Let's begin. Firstly, how on earth did the gap get there? But more importantly, should we all be concerned? Scientists are baffled by Antarctica's enormous hole. Understand that the Arctic ice is melting, but big holes, especially on this scale, are common. We're talking about a space of more than 29,000 square miles, roughly the size of Austria. Scientists are confused by the vast ice chasm, but other creatures have probably cheered its presence. Sea mammals like whales and seals exist in the area despite the harsh conditions and need to come up for air. So this hole in the ice was likely a pleasant one for us humans, while the void offers an unexpected enigma. How did so much ice vanish in the midst of the long Antarctic winter, when the continent barely sees daylight at that time of year? Rapid melting caused by the sun's rays appears unlikely, but experts recently discovered a similarly unusual phenomenon, and it's unusual for Antarctic researchers to find holes like this during the winter. Despite appearances, Antarctica and the globe are inextricably linked. Given the icy continent's otherworldly landscape and location, the vast and barren place can seem far removed from most human life, but its isolation and distance don't cancel out its enormous global impact, one that scientists have been concerned about for quite some time now. Half a century ago, experts noticed the ozone layer above the continent was breaking down and an ozone hole appeared in the skies above the continent, allowing more ultraviolet rays to hit the planet's surface. Australia and New Zealand are close to Antarctica. Therefore, the continent's latest enormous hole may threaten their people. The continent's ozone leak is better known than Antarctica's massive hole. Scientists spent years studying the atmospheric event and its dangers, and after it was found that chemicals like chlorofluorocarbons CFCs, were largely responsible for the ozone hole. A treaty was drawn up to prohibit these substances. At its inception, nearly 50 nations were involved. Now almost 200 are. Thankfully, the deal was successful, and the signals are positive that the ozone layer will be restored. But, as ozone expert Paderno Levelt noted in a 2012 NASA statement, we still have an ozone hole near the South Pole, but we expect it to recover by 2050 to 2070. This is fantastic news, but Antarctica also faces climate change and massive ice breaches. Although global warming has wreaked devastation, this process isn't felt uniformly across the continent since it's so large. Climate change is destroying several animal groups on the frigid continent. Change in ecosystems are sensitive, so when one species is threatened, another is affected. Antarctica's melting ice has reduced algae growth, which in turn has impacted the krill that feed on the plant material, which means the Adley penguins that rely on krill for food have also suffered. To make matters worse, weather patterns have changed in the areas where the flightless birds nest, putting emperor penguins in a precarious position. Antarctica's natural animals are now endangered, but the continent's ice melting could be far worse. The massive rift that formed in Antarctica's ice in 2017 should concern us since Antarctica regulates global heat. According to studies, melting of the West Antarctic ice sheet would result in massive sea level rises. Climate change is a real issue for Antarctica and the rest of the world, but can we blame it for that massive chasm in the ice? The hole was discovered in the Lazarev Sea in September 2017 and surprised experts. Antarctica experiences winter in September. The continent's ice should have been at its strongest at that time, but somehow this enormous piece had disappeared, leaving the specialists understandably astonished when an elite team of scientists spotted the gap. A robotic float that could navigate thick ice helped the team make their astounding discovery. After the instrument found the massive chasm, researchers used satellite images to confirm it. The crater's 29,000 square miles of mysteriously melting ice fascinated experts in these overhead photos. 
Toronto physics professor Kent Moore discussed the whole thing and its many shocking parts. National Geographic, in the depths of winter for more than a month, we've had this patch of open water, he stated in 2017. Moore's interest in the Great Chasm is understandable given Antarctica's ice-dominated winters. Therefore, it's surprising that such a vast volume of ice can melt during Antarctica's winter when temperatures should be lowest, but openings occur. The Mod Rise, an underwater ridge, had this hole. After its discovery, the gap became known as the Mod Rise Polynya and grew to more than eight times its initial size in a month. In the summer, the ice from the gap melted into Antarctica's oceans. The anomaly intrigued scientists, but it vanished quickly. Polynias are unusual features, but in 2016, a NASA satellite spotted one in the Western Caribbean. As NASA's CI specialist Elect Petty stated, this naturally piqued specialists' curiosity in how and why these gaps exist. It's unusual and important because it lets heat escape to the winter environment, where air temperatures are roughly minus 4 degrees. Fahrenheit Polynyas, like the ones that appeared in the wet LC in the 1970s and in 2016, can usually be attributed to either persistent air circulation patterns above the frozen ocean or currents within it. Once these gaps are opened, a self-sustaining cycle develops as warmer water rises from the sea and releases its heat into the atmosphere, then descends as it cools and is replaced by new, warmer currents from below, preventing new ice from forming. Their undocumented understanding the 2017 Mod Rising Polynya may aid in the resolution of many questions. The 2017 occurrence was caused by a stronger heat cycle, but experts aren't clear how the moderating increase in Polynya would affect Antarctica's climate. Did global warming cause it? Solving these riddles requires more work, claimed one scientist. New York University Abu Dhabi researcher Diana Francis oversaw the Mod Rise Polynya project and can discuss its effects. Francis said that once opened, the Polynya acts like a window through the seed ice, exchanging huge amounts of energy between the ocean and atmosphere during winter. Mid-sea Polynyas change oceanic circulation and regional and global climates due to their size. Francis stressed the necessity of identifying Polynya triggers for better model representation and climatic effects. These triggers have a theory, but more research is needed. The water and atmosphere maintain this gap in the ice. Francis continued ocean processes bring warmer water near the surface and prevent new ice from forming, sustaining the polynya. More cyclones may create polynyas in the future due to global warming. Scientists will need all their tools to comprehend polynyas and Antarctica's future. Francis acknowledges that satellite photos can help us understand a complicated system where atmospheric and oceanic interactions matter. That's it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share and press the bell icon for more regular updates.